If you're like me, you like to target the Pacific sailfish because of their speed, strength, agility, and beauty. High catch rates, calm seas, and the phenomenal weather conditions make Guatemala the ideal fishing destination. At Pacific Fins, they take care of all the little details that allow you to enjoy every second on and off the water. Here we go. On land, Guatemala has active volcanoes, charming colonial towns, pristine beaches, and friendly people. Together, we'll explore local traditions with fashion. Hola. Cuisine. That is very good. And folklore. Guatemala will captivate and surprise you from the comfort of your seat. So let's get started. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Right across from Guatemala's International Airport, you'll find the quickest and best way to get to Pacific Fins for some epic sport fishing. While ground transportation can take anywhere from one and a half to two and a half hours to get to Ixtapa, it only takes 15 minutes by private plane all arranged by Pacific Fins. Hey guys, how you doing, I'm Peter. Mucho gusto. Tell me about this plane. It's a really fast one with 500 shaft horsepower. I need to put this kind of engine in my car. You need it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's perfect. Nice leather seats, it's plush. I can play all kinds of games on here. What's this, double mics? No, this is the microphone and this one is for oxygen. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. I could use this just in general, just to go out at night with this thing. everything feel better. That's great. We ended our climb, now we're starting to descend. Wow, we're descending already. Yeah. That was quick. It is. If I recall, Captain, the runway was in a really pretty spot. It is, it is. It's a beautiful runway. Yeah, yeah and it's a grass. Oh, it's a grass runway? Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna prepare to land. Oh, baby. Beautiful job, Captain. Oh, it's a pleasure. There he is, the movie star. We get to see you, man. How are you? Very good. Good. What about you? It's great to be here. Thank you so much. From the airstrip to Pacific Fins, it's a five-minute picturesque boat ride up the canal. This untouched beauty is laced with mangroves, tons of bird life, and local fishermen bringing in the day's catch. Hello, guys. Look at that. Perfect, right? And now it's time for a drink. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for getting me. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Citizen. Better starts now. Invincible. When you're serious. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. More so. The boat's looking good. I see a lot of billfish scratches on the side. It's a good sign. <laughs> it's easy to start your fishing day in Guatemala with a smile and a couple of jokes. This destination is considered one of the best places on the planet to target Pacific sailfish. I feel like I'm at home. Right, Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Think we're gonna catch a fish today, maybe one? For sure. <laughs> All right, I like to keep it nice and low. Okay. And that way if we catch more, it's better. No problem. <laughs> Captain Marcial was more than eager to cast off and head out to the sailfish grounds. Woo! Spinning. We're hauling ass, man. We're going fast. The captain is uh, muy rápido, huh? Yes. He wants to get out there. Look at all the pangas. Right outside the inlet, 
the local fishermen were targeting snappers using shrimp for bait. Wow, we should fish there. That'd be cool. Captains are always in contact with each other, sharing info for the benefit of the whole fleet, helping them formulate the best plan of attack for the day. How far do you think we're going to go today? How many miles? 40, 45. The other boat has 25, 30. Really? Yes, sir. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> The ideal situation for a professional or novice angler is to fish with a top-notch crew that is willing to share their knowledge and work as a team to attain the best possible outcome each and every day. Ooh, that looks perfect. Even cutting up some fresh fruit to keep you hydrated and energetic. Two teasers, two squid chains, four baits out. One foot on the brake and one on the gas. All right, now we need a couple sailfish. Let's go. Oh! When you get that first bite of the morning and your adrenaline's pumping, you need to remember that five-second drop back. Got him on, sailfish. And when using the mandatory circle hooks, all you need to do is lock it up and drop your rod tip towards the water and hold on. Sailfish came up, grabbed the short bait right out of the clip, locked it up, and, and they just come tight. Yes, showboater. He's a jumper. Coming up. Woo. This fish is pretty fired up. Yeah, wow. My fish. Very good. Good job, sir. Good job, Captain. Good job, everybody. That was only about 10 minutes of trolling. That was good. I think it's probably time to let him go. What do you think? Vamos, liberalo. There we go. Swim it away. Way to go! Sport fishing is a numbers game, and a good team will have fresh baits going back out as the one you just caught is being released. Always ready for the next opportunity. Vamos! We're back at it. 10 o'clock in the morning. Left, left, decent! I'm tight. Woo! Look at that. He's going wild. Yes. That was unbelievable. He might be coming up. He's shaking. The Pacific sails grow to twice the size of the Atlantic sails. And because of that, this is one fish you'll definitely want to take a photo with. We call it CPR, catch, photo, and release. It's always nice to snap an epic pic to show your friends and family, while at the same time, ensuring a safe release. Freeze pool! That's a nice Maya, that's 25 pounder. Crew wastes no time in filleting the fresh mahi in preparation for our lunch. This is one of the fringe benefits of fishing in Guatemala. Having fish tournaments my entire adult life, I'm used to soggy, cold sandwiches, or even something as meager as a bag of beef jerky. Their presentation, combined with the absolute freshest ingredients, is what separates Pacific fins from the rest. Thank you, man. That looks incredible. That's as fresh as it gets. This is how every fishing trip should be. We got guacamole and chips, we got macaroni, and then we got mahi that we just caught 30 minutes ago. I don't eat this good at my own house. One of the most draw-dropping sights that you'll witness in Guatemala are the giant pods of spinner dolphin. 
They travel in large numbers, so if you find one, you're likely to see hundreds, if not thousands, in the same area. Their name comes from their love to jump, flip, and twist above the surface of the water. Aside from their acrobatics, they are extremely intelligent and they use their highly developed sonar capabilities to detect everything and anything. Thus, they will never touch your troll baits as they can sense the line, leader, and hook. Left load, mate! Drop him back. Tight. We're in the middle of a uh, giant school of uh, porpoise. Just goes to show you that the ocean is alive today, boy. Double header. We got two. Here we go. There's big boy right here. Que bueno eso. Que bueno. Woo! Double. Oh man. Because sailfish swim in packs. It's not uncommon to have double, triple, or even quadruple headers, but to see two 100-pound-plus sails somersaulting throughout the air simultaneously and in the same line of sight was a moment that will be etched into my memory banks for the rest of my life. Two in the air! Get him, boy! I've been lucky enough to have caught and released over 3,000 sailfish in my lifetime, but this scene was one for the books. We made quick work of the doubleheader and once again ended on a high note. Good job, Captain. Good job. It was time to head back to Pacific Fins to rest up and do it all over again. Mercury, go boldly. Fishing chaos. Fish smarter, not harder. Low T Center, reinventing men's health care. Yeti, built for the wild. This morning, Pacific Fins set up a tour for me to learn about the Guatemalan culture. From its Mayan influences, historical sites, traditional clothing, and local cuisine. There he is. How you doing, man? <laughs> Again, good to see ya. We got a cooler back there? Perfect. This is the mountaintop you were telling me about. Cerro de Mirandilla. Cerro de, de Mirandilla. Mirandilla. You can see the rock in the top looks like a face. Some people say how they do that, but we can understand that because it's natural, you know. It's also nice with all the greenery because yeah. you've had so much rain, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, that looks really cool. Right now, the people lives around here. They says in the nighttime, Woman appear over there is for that nobody like to go up there. Okay. Only when go a group they go, but okay. a separate or alone Single nobody. Single people. Yeah, it's no. not good. Right. Thank you for showing me. The traditional Guatemalan clothing is well known to be perhaps the most colorful of all typical costumes in Latin America. In particular, the highlands of Guatemala are the most popular of all. Their patterns vary depending upon the region, influenced by their surroundings and history. Buenos dias. Look at this room. This is a little museum of blouses and costumes from different areas of Guatemala. It's beautiful in here. Yeah. How long does it take to make? We take six or seven months to make. The months? Uh-huh. We have pieces that we take one year to make. In an era when most textiles are being mass produced by machines, the local women take pride in making them all by hand. This is heavy. Wow, they really big, big pantalones. There we go. I'm glad it's uh, real in here. This is industrial. Like that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> I am ready. Hola. <laughs> what does this outfit mean? This is an outfit from Todos Santos. All the men use this. 
every day? Oh, it's a traditional. Really? Just, just to walk around every town? Day. This is nice. Thank you very much for showing me. <sighs> Life is good up here in the mountains. It's important to have your walking stick at all times. For Guatemalans, tortillas are a staple in everyday life. Made from either flour or corn, but always cooked on a giant steel dish above a wood-burning fire. Tortilla Escuela. No, or you say Escuela de Tortilla. I see, it's always the other way. Me instructor. Okay, so agua, and then we got the dough ball. Oof, let's get stuck. Any más agua? Oh my God, mine looks so bad. Oof. Why is mine not round? Let's see. If you slap it too hard, it, it gets crazy. I really want to make a circle, but it's not going to work. Oof, so close. I feel good about this one. Uh -huh. Ugh, almost. If I can fix it in Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> I eat them on the street with nothing. I put in beans, cheese, chili sauce, and some salt. <laughs> this is very good. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. There's the cat. Perfect, my premier amiga. Mm-hmm. Salt Life sunglasses. See clearly. Celdration, good for you, good for our planet. Celdration is hydration defined. Invincible, when you're serious. Mercury, go boldly. It's another beautiful morning at Pacific Fins. After traveling throughout Guatemala, it's nice to have a place you can call home. Pacific Fins has everything taken care of. From transportation, incredible meals, tasty drinks, comfy beds, and amazing hospitality, all set in a lush and peaceful environment. It truly is like Fantasy Island, and you're going to find yourself mingling with novice anglers as well as fishing fanatics from all over the globe. I happened to run into my friends Murph and Eddie, whom I invited to join me for a day of bill fishing. We're gonna make it happen on this boat. They got really nice tackle. Great baits. These guys rig them up like a champ. We got the Captain Marcial. What's up, guys? Good. Good morning. So this is Murph. How you doing? And this is Eddie. Let's go catch some fish, guys. The crew uses the ride out to the sailfish grounds to prep the baits, keeping the Yetis stacked and packed. They're doing everything. They're doing the baits. They're doing the rigging. They're in there cooking. Awesome. They work their ass off here. While putting out the baits, the crew presented us with fresh mahi ceviche. Fresh mahi, very good. All right, who wants it? Go, 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 Murph. Come on. Are you tight? There he is, there he is. We're on. Murph's first time catching a sailfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, that fish looks good. Woo! Woo. Good job, good job. Good? Nice. All right, Good thank job, you. man. Good thank job. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you. All right, we're on the board. I feel bad for Murph and Eddie. They were really trying to enjoy their ceviche, but once again, the captain finds a sailfish, and it's nonstop action. Right when I was about to f eat. I told you, Eddie, I said, don't sit down. Here he comes up, scoping up. Hey, look at that. That's a big Pacific sail, huh? It sure is. Sweet, bro. Way to go, Eddie. Time for some ceviche. Yeah, ceviche was good luck. You getting your fuel? I'm getting my fuel, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Let's see if he's there. Yeah, it's tight. Oh, nice. Oh, sh it's a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> I was enjoying my ceviche. That dorsal looks nice. We're on fire. Guatemala gives you a lot of chances, man. You gotta watch your tip. Oh, wow. Good job. I'm never gonna get to that ceviche like this. <laughs> never gonna get there.
Guatemala has to be one of my favorite destinations. When you come to an area where it's glass calm and you can catch sailfish all day until your arms fall off, and then you catch mahi and you're having like a home cooked meal on the boat while you're fishing, it's a fisherman's paradise. The other part about it is that you can go up into the mountains and visit the locals and you can get the history and you can go into town and see just how much this place has to offer. The people are friendly, the food's amazing, the fishing's great. I mean, you just can't beat it. So I highly recommend coming down to Guatemala. Pacific Fins, you're gonna have the best time of your life. For additional content and social media, please visit us at unchartedwaterstv.com.